Being able to control your bike is essential. Tapping your rear brakes in the air is one of those techniques that will give you control. This lesson will teach you how to tap your rear brake in the air. We'll explain the importance behind it and the do's and don'ts. Mastering this will take your jumping skills to a whole new level. Now the reason you would tap your rear brake in the air is to get the front end to come down if it is too high in the air. Let's watch James Stewart as he uses his rear brake in the air. He's going to seat bounce this jump to get the distance he needs. Usually when you seat bounce, the front end is higher when you take off because your body weight is over the rear. Now as he's airborne, you can see how much higher his front tire is compared to his rear. If he never hit his rear brake, he would land just like this and there would be a good chance he'd crash by falling off the back. Now here's where tapping your brake comes into play. Watch his right foot tap the brake. Now as he hits the brake, watch the rear tire completely stop spinning. You can see each knobby on the tire and the shock even compresses. What happens is the gyration of the tire spinning is stopped and the rest of the bike is pulled downward the direction the tire was spinning, which is what causes the front end to come down. Also notice that he just taps the rear brake then pulls his foot back off. You don't want to keep the brake on. You just want enough to get the front tire where you need it. Too much and the front end could drop too low and cause you to endo. Okay, now you're thinking, hey, that's easy enough. Just stomp the brake pedal down and I'm good. Well, it's not that easy. The other key element here is the clutch. When you hit your rear brake in the air, the motor will stall if you don't pull in the clutch at the same exact time. If the motor stalls while you're in the air, you'll land with a dead engine and that's not a good thing. See here in this clip, as he pulls in the clutch just as he hits the rear brake, then lets it out once he's done, this will ensure that his motor doesn't stall. Okay, one more thing I want to stress. Do not try this with your front brake. Hitting your front brake in the air is a definite do not. If the front tire stops spinning in the air, there's a really high chance you're going to crash. Okay, now that you saw some good examples of how much effect hitting your brake in the air has, go ahead and practice it. Remember, start small. Once you master this, your confidence in jumping should skyrocket. Now let's watch these at regular speed.